Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at two power supplies from Antec, the Antec True Power Quattro 850 Watt and the 1000 Watt. What's included with each of these power supplies is a user's manual, modular cables, a power cord, and four black screws for mounting the power supply in the case. The Antec True Power Quattro line of power supplies is available in 850 watts and 1000 watts. This is enough power for most of today's hardcore computer systems. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand that you need to know what rails are. Rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 180 watts for the 850 watt model and 200 watts for the 1000 watt model. The 12 volt rail is 768 watts on the 850 watt model and 4 440 watts on the 1000 watt model. The 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It's also very important to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt is 25 amps and the plus 5 volt is 30 amps. Now most of today's power supplies, especially the ones that are very high wattage, are designed for two video card gaming systems and therefore have one very very large plus 12 volt rail but these power supplies have four plus 12 volt rails and each rail is 18 amps remember a single plus 12 volt rail is preferred in a multiple video card setup there are a couple of important things to remember when selecting a power supply the first is wattage Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high-end gaming rig would require a 500 to 700 watt power supply. If, however, you are going hardcore and have a multiple video card setup with lots of other hardware, select a power supply that's above 700 watts. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load. These power supplies are 85% under typical load. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, overvoltage, undervoltage, and other protections. These power supplies meet all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend getting a power supply that has APFC. APFC, or Active Power Factor Correction, is something that also assists the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Thankfully, these power supplies have APFC. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Let's have a closer look at these power supplies. They have stylish racing stripes which run all the way around the steel housing and include an 80 millimeter fan. Along with this fan and the ventilation holes here and at the back, this power supply will remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cable connection and the on off switch. These power supplies have lots of leads and they are all sleeved which reduces cable mess inside the case and will improve airflow. The main motherboard leads which include the 2024 pin, 8 pin and 4 pin as well as two 6 plus 2 pin video card leads are hardwired into the power supply and can't be removed. But the peripheral and two 6 pin video card leads are modular. This modular design makes connecting and disconnecting leads a snap. It also means that you only need to use the leads required for your particular setup. Finally, have a listen to the 80 millimeter fan.
These power supplies are very, very stylish and they offer a tremendous amount of power. My only concern with these power supplies, because performance overall was really, really good, is that they're using four plus 12 volt rails instead of one single very large plus 12 volt rail, which is really preferred if you're going with a two video card setup. But overall, these power supplies are kick-ass. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds. This has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, pop into my website at www.3dgamerman.com. And while you're there, you can go into the forums and register. And remember, registration is completely free. Also, keep in mind, you can find out a lot more on these products in the forum. And as a final note, if you love watching my video reviews, please remember to help support 3dgamerman.com. If you wish to support, please visit support3gm.com. Until the next time, take care. Two different rails, the 3.3 slash 5 volt.